I expect the same level of respect and professionalism on those inmates as I do the general public. And uh, as you will hear today, that, that did not happen. We do not uh, condone these type of actions that you're going to see. We actually condemn these type of actions. We do not train our deputies to respond this way. We train our deputies in alternative methods to prevent this type of response. And in short, we are going to share a video with you. In the video, you're going to see a detention deputy leave the pod that he was assigned into, go into a cell and remove an inmate. The inmate is handcuffed and then removed from the cell, brought between the cell and the pod and thrown on the ground uh, in an unprovoked attack. Um, the result of that encounter is in the back back there on the board. Uh, that inmate uh, required uh, 20 stitches, 10 internal, 10 external, and as a result of those injuries this morning, 34-year-old Brian Casey Shackley was arrested. Shackley is uh, 34 years old. He joined the Sheriff's Office on April 2nd, 2007. He was promoted to a detention deputy on August 10, 2009, and in 2017 he was promoted to sergeant. However, during his probationary status, he was demoted from sergeant to deputy sheriff for failure to meet probationary standards. As I mentioned this morning, we arrested him and charged him with felony battery for his inappropriate use of force during this incident which happened on July 10th, 2022, just 11 days ago. During the incident, and you will see this in the video that we share with you, Shackley performed what is known as a shoulder lock takedown. The inmate is 54 years old. He was housed in our county jail pending drug charges. The inmate has never had violent criminal charges in his past. The victim suffered the severe laceration to his head uh, after making contact with the floor and the victim received 20 stitches, as I said. Shackley uh, was arrested, the bond was $50,000 and he was uh, released after posting bond this morning. Uh, a video of this incident will be shared with all of you and uh, as I said, as Sheriff, as Chief Deputy, uh, these incidents just tear to the fiber of what we're about. This is not what we're about, and uh, we're here to answer any questions, but uh, Shackley will be suspended today, Question and of course, Shackley. he'll have to go through the criminal justice system to, uh, to address these charges. Sheriff, you said it was an unprovoked attack. There had to be some reason for this, right? <laughs> We haven't found a reason. What did Shackley say? Shackley's initial response was the guy um, I think dropped his weight down as in, a, in an effort to resist moving. But, but you look at the video and, and make your own determination. I know our state attorney uh, reviewed the video and made the conclusion that this, this was a criminal act. Were any words exchanged? Did he say anything to the inmate, or did the inmate say anything to him before he thrown to the floor? My understanding is this inmate wanted to be moved from a cell. Shackley didn't want that to happen. He wanted to be removed from the storm. And after going on and on about being removed, Shackley went in there, removed him, handcuffed him, and then this encounter happened. What should he have done? Well, I mean, they get training to handle inmates who may be uh, upset or whatever. What should he have done? We do a thousand transports throughout the jail a day. Normally they're handcuffed. If you suspect that an inmate is going to fight you or resist, you usually call another deputy and that's handled that way. In this case, he approached the inmate by himself. He did handcuff him, but in no way should he have thrown him down on the ground in the manner he did. Is the prisoner in the hospital right now or was no, insufficient? No. We have a medical wing at our jail, 
He was removed uh, from that encounter, taken to the medical wing where uh, medical attention was given to him, which included these 20 stitches. He is still in jail. Because of Marcy's Law, we're not going to share uh, the victim's name with you. But uh, 54 years old, uh, black male. And uh, the worst part about this whole thing, he was handcuffed in the back. I mean, uh, we, we do not see any threat whatsoever that he posed. Are you able to share why he's in jail? Drug charges. So not a violent criminal? No, never been a violent criminal. How long had he been in there? Hmm, that's a good question. Hold on, I might be able to tell you that. Sheriff, I think it's April of this year. April this year, so we're going on three months. Did there appear to be anything that could have provoked this? You know, he just seems kind of unusual. That of course. From our viewpoint, no. From the state attorney's viewpoint, no. Why didn't he want to move in uh, Shaka? Why didn't Shaka want to want him? We never got to that. You mentioned that uh, he was demoted during his probationary status to deputy. Uh, wondering, like, if you could give us kind of more of his background. Correct. Kind of whatever his actions were in the past. Uh, his uh, captain at the time wrote up the reason for the demotion. I'm going to highlight the three reasons. Uh, the first one was the captain had concerns about his interpersonal skills, his field performance, his investigative skills, his leadership, and his management skills. He also had a uh, incident where he inappropriately discussed some personal affairs with subordinate staff as a sergeant. So the captain, during the probation, felt that he had violated enough of our policies that he did not want him to continue as a sergeant at the Department of Detention. Was there a reason he was requesting a cell change, the prisoner? I don't think we've gotten into that yet, yeah, but uh, do we know? Yeah, Go ahead, come yeah. on up. Chief Deputy knows. So the reason that the inmate had requested a cell change is because his toilet in that area did not work at the time. Um, and it actually was not working for whatever reason um, happened. And then as well, he had been assigned to top bunk and uh, he had uh, some sort of issue with one of his legs where climbing in and out of the top bunk uh, just didn't work for him. So he had requested a cell change, um, actually previously with another deputy. How long was the prisoner um, laying on the floor before somebody spotted him and realized he needed help? And then oh no, it, it was immediately. As soon, soon as he was hurt on the floor, he was picked up and, and uh, taken transported to medical. So Shackley did it? Shackley asked for backup and the other deputies arrived, including the supervisor, made sure he, he immediately uh, was taken to our medical wing. I'm sorry, did you say what the charges were on, for Shackley? Shackley is felony battery. Bond was fifty thousand dollars, and he did bond out of jail. And you said he's been suspended, not fired. He's been placed on. Uh, so Deputy Shackley's been placed on administrative leave without pay, which is our policy. Uh, when one of our deputies is arrested, um, and so they'll be given his uh, administrative review with Internal Affairs will run concurrent with the, the criminal case as well. What's the maximum sentence you could get if he's convicted? Mm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure on that. Felony battery. Felony battery. I, I Probably don't. five years. Did you say when he joined your office? Yes, I did. On the seven. Oh seven. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody wanted to know more about why the inmate wanted to change cells. One was subjective, hey, I'm on the top bunk, I can't get up there. One was objective, the toilet isn't working anymore. Everyone could see that the inmate wasn't making that up, so this change of moving him should have been without question and without controversy and without violence, simple as that. Sheriff, you talked a little bit about how you're very proud of your deputies for their mm -hmm. work every day and how uh, Deputy Shackley's actions are not representative of St. Lucie County. By all means. Briefly, just get, get into that a little bit if you can. Well, the reason why I shared today's population with you is it's a daunting task working at the jail. You have uh, close to 1,200 inmates. Uh, they have to be fed. They have to be safe. We have to 
provide medical care, psychiatric care, dental care. These inmates are transported every day, every day by our deputies, and our deputies take great pride in taking care of inmates out there. Simple as that. Uh, their motto is protecting our community silently, and they do it silently. Um, they don't. They don't ask for a lot. A lot. They do their job. They enjoy it. Many are career, career correctional deputies, and uh, I just want uh, our public not to paint a brush on all of them because of what they see in this video.